hello guys and welcome to today's cooking today i'm going to show you how to make sweet potatoes and red red pepper soup <laughs> okay here yeah, are the ingredients i have some sweet potatoes i have two red peppers i have uh, chicken stock i have some salt i have a uh, sunflower oil i have ginger i have some garlic and an onion since I don't have my cameraman with me I'm going to prepare all the ingredients put them in a roasting tray um, then I'll show you what I have done all right okay let's get cooking I've prepared all the ingredients I've been heating the oven gas mark 7 and then I put all the ingredients here. I'm going to roast them for 20. I've added some salt here and then a bit of sunflower oil. You mix it well to, to make sure everything is coated with oil. That's my bread, it's ready. And after this, I put everything in the oven for 20 minutes and then i'll show you when it's done in the meantime i'll be showing you what i'll be doing all right here i have my garlic and ginger all prepped up i've been heating the pan um i'm going to be cooking it as the veggies roast in the oven and then i'll show you and i can't resist to show you my homemade bread homemade soup and homemade bread it's gonna be awesome so let's get cooking here's the pan i've been heating it I'm going to add some oil to my pan that's enough we don't want too much oil you can use butter if you prefer butter i'm going to add my onion cook them for 10 minutes While you guys were not watching, I added some salt, not too much salt because I have salted the veggies that are in the oven. And plus I'm going to use some chicken stock and I believe it has a bit of salt. So I salted the onion and then now it's time to add the garlic. Don't know how we're going to do this, but it has to be done. I'm gonna scrape it off and then we take it from there. You know what I need? I need a better camera with a stand. All things are possible to them that believe. Uh huh. It's coming in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Garlic in. I'm gonna cook for like three minutes. Then I'm going to add a liter of warm water. I don't think one liter will be enough. I might have to add a liter and a half. Here, depends whether you like your soup thick, thin. I want it between thick and thin, something like that. Then I'm going to add this uh, chicken stock as uh, the veggies cook. Then we'll take it from there, step by step. I think we can add the stock, uh, the I think we can add our water now. You're thinking, oh, what is she doing? Oh, what is she doing? I can see you saying, oh, what is she doing? One liter will not be enough. Let me see whether I need to add two liter. That's our stop there. Two liters. Then it's time to add this baby in. Here goes our chicken stock. I'll be cooking this on its own because by the time the veggies get out of the oven, they will be fully cooked and this will be cooking same amount of time or less. Then I'll add my sweet potatoes, uh, peel the skin off, the red peppers. When this comes to a boil, 
and it's been boiling for like 10 minutes then i'll add my veggies i'll show you let's talk in. let's get to work uh-huh here goes our veggies they took so long to cook i had to put my gas to gas mark 9 and they cooked for 30 minutes so what i'm going to do is remove all the peppers yeah put them there and then um peel the skin off the peppers uh seems like a lot of work you might be saying oh too much work who has time to remove mm -hmm. it's gonna be so tasty and it's worth the effort so i'm going to add this to my boiling stock here as you can see add the sweet potatoes as i peel the peppers add the peppers for like five minutes then i'm gonna puree it step by step here we go those are the peppers already peeled now i know why people don't want to peel the pepper it's a lot of work what i can say is if you can roast your pepper whole it will be easier to skin them so try to do that but i like doing it this way because they cook they roast inside and out but it takes a lot of time to do what i've just done so it's time to add this to our soup there goes cook them for five minutes then i'm going to puree using this baby here hot health blender and then we'll see we need to stir that Our soup is all done, as you can see. Wow, I've tasted it. It's just stunning. That's a bit of paper there. That didn't uh, please, uh, but it's wonderful. Thank you so so much for watching. Share, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.